To most of us, an electric bill is just another bill to pay. But take a closer look. Your electric bill has become a major instrument of public policy in Massachusetts, a vehicle that allows the state to leverage billions of ratepayer dollars for programs to curb electricity consumption, develop renewable energy, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The money collected from ratepayers for these policy initiatives has been rising steadily. Today, they add up to about 20% of the typical bill, or about $25 a month. The big question is, are we getting our money's worth? Electricity is expensive in Massachusetts, but in terms of total energy expenditures per capita, we rank 31st. And in terms of energy consumption per capita, we rank 44th. While it's hard to pinpoint cause and effect when it comes to energy usage, the trend lines are moving in the right direction. Gross state product has grown dramatically since 1990, but energy use has held steady and greenhouse gas emissions have fallen. Your electricity bill is the fulcrum for much of the state's energy policy. It's divided into two sections, supply and delivery. Electric supply is the cost of the actual electricity you consume. The supply charge also includes a couple of policy initiatives that are not broken out separately on your bill. For example, electricity suppliers have to purchase renewable energy credits from renewable energy generators to prove they're complying with a state law requiring that a minimum amount of the customer's energy is coming from renewable sources. This year that minimum is 14%. For the typical Boston Eversource customer, the cost of this mandate was $11.25 in January, or 8.7% of the total bill. The typical customer was charged $0.99 cents in January for the cost of complying with the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative, which requires electricity suppliers to purchase allowances for the greenhouse gases they emit. The revenue from the allowances is funneled to states and plowed into programs to reduce electricity consumption. Overall, Massachusetts collected $600 million from the sale of allowances between 2008 and 2018. Delivery service is a catch-all category. It's mainly the cost of getting the electricity from where it's generated to your home. While the delivery charge covers maintenance and transmission costs, it also funds a handful of policy initiatives. For instance, the energy efficiency charge is collected by your utility to bankroll energy efficiency measures, programs, incentives, and rebates. It's under two cents per kilowatt hour on a typical customer's bill, but overall, it's expected to cost ratepayers $2.8 billion over the next three years. There are a lot more individual charges on the delivery side of the bill. Some of them are broken out separately, but some are not. For example, utilities also receive remuneration for carrying on their books the state's renewable energy contracts, even though the Attorney General says there is little risk because ratepayers cover all the costs. For the offshore wind contract that was recently signed with Vineyard Wind, the utility remuneration will total $168 million spread out over 20 years. Customers of the state's three utilities pay all these charges. But customers in the 41 communities with municipally owned utilities, about 13% of the state's ratepayers, are exempt from the charges. One thing is clear. All of the charges, roughly a fifth of the typical customer's bill, have very little to do with the actual electricity you are buying and everything to do with state energy policy.